Hello everyone and welcome back to FF13 2. Time and memory frozen in crystal. Sarah and Noel have come to Augusta Tower to find out what is behind the horror overtaking academia. Here they discover a shocking truth. Hope was the one who built the artificial Falci. But what caused it to run amok? Sarah and Noel encounter Caius, but a malfunction in the tower prevents them from following him. They must find a key elsewhere in the timeline. Just a little recap. If you don't remember what happened in the last part, we discovered the forbidden truth where the AI that Hope built kills him. It gets too smart and kills him off and takes over Augusta Tower. 187 years ago. 13th year. Let's continue on. Damn. Okay, okay, let's let's take a breather here. In the decade following the commencement of the Protofal C project, a conflict arose in the academy between the AI construct and its human creators. The construct insisted that the Protofal C be imbued with the full powers of a Fal C. But some scientists countered with the argument that the more dangerous combat functions were unnecessary. Aha, uh -huh, so that's why the AI won. Okay. Project faced determination. Termination. And that's why they killed Hope. To protest, they killed Hope. The old cocoon fell from the sky because the Falci who powered it was gone. Then the proto Falci was created in its place to make cocoon float again. At least that's how Hope planned for things to go, right? Right, but the artificial intelligence needed to build the proto Falci rebelled against the humans. That's when everything went wrong. All right, I didn't remember the details in the story like that. This is really good. Now I'm, I grew even more appreciation for this game. Because when I first played this, I wasn't as interested in the AI stuff. Okay, so before we go to the next floor, you see this area of the map that is not complete? Not explore. Well, the, the way you get to it to explore it is you come to this room where I am, and there's a switch here where you rotate the room. We use Mog to get the treasure, but you have to get to it yourself anyway so that you explore the map fully. This it's part of the perfect walkthrough as well as well as the platinum trophy to 100% explore. So we have to do it. And now we go up. Let's go. This is great. The artificial intelligence that killed Hope and his team now seems hell-bent on killing us. 
So you don't think the proto Falci and the other AI are being controlled by Caius? No, I don't. Someone else is pulling the strings. Couldn't the culprit be the artificial intelligence itself? What if something that humans created found a mind of its own? So you're saying a machine learned to think for itself? Huh. Then it wouldn't need any one of the controls, would it? We should search for the AI mainframe. Maybe we'll find out what's really going on. Koopa? Exactly. That's what the scary thing about AI is. <laughs> We're almost at the top floor. I bet that's where Caius is. Better get our hands on an This is a uh, more complex than last part, so I need a minute for it to come back to me. Let's get this treasure first and foremost. Just some heal. More fights, of course. I don't know why my game is dropping frames. So, let's see here, we have to go to that room. We need to start from the, the, this room down here, I, th I think. this room Oh, nice, we can rotate this one too while we're inside. Uh, Magistral's Crest. This one is 10% magic, the crest is 40, 40 magic. ATB rate plus 10% as well, and chain bonus. Wow, that is insanely good. As as soon as I get the 10 extra accessory capacity, I'm gonna equip that. Hey. 
make sure we miss nothing that we can throw the throw mog at. We don't need to throw mock for that one as we will reach it so Okay, and now we need to access this one, so we make room. No, we need to do it one more time, so that we can go out from to the other side. And now, get this room back where it was. Come on! Top floor access key. Yeah, don't forget to explore and map the area. Alright, let's go! How dare you kill my boy Hope!
be the heart of the system. I know it's a machine, but it seems like it's almost breathing. If what Alyssa was telling us is true, you and Caius should be up here as well. But are they with us or against us? Uh, no more treasures, I guess. I don't see any, at least. Okay. So, for my lucky customers today, you get a big dose of spirit and zest along with your purchase. How are you here? <laughs> around here so I've been talking to myself a lot trying to keep things lively you know you all are you on your own oh, I brought you this Why? what should we do with it you must protect the timeline. I saw you in Erba. I trust you. I believe in you. We're in the same time as when we met in Erba. So you're the same Yule? Yes. But who are you? Who are the Farseers? I am the Seeress of the oldest tribe on Pulse. My visions of the future are recorded and stored in the Oracle Drive. But that is long in the past. There is no more need to record the prophecies. I have Caius now. What do you mean? He is tasked with protecting the Cirrus and remembering her visions. Now and forever, he will remember the entire timeline. Caius. He is beyond death. What? You mean he can't die ever? The Cirrus possesses the eyes of Etro. And inside Caius beats the heart of Chaos. The goddess has gifted him the curse of eternity. He is a guardian, and his mission is to protect the Cirrus. The power to see the future is a terrible weapon. It can turn history into chaos. But then... I don't understand. Why are you helping us? I mean, you do know we're trying to change history, right? History has already been broken. The timeline had been twisted before I met you. The distortion leads to a future of death and destruction. If you change the future, you can change the past and correct the distortions. The miracle that saved Cocoon has already been altered. Uh -huh. Someone who is meant to survive did not come home. Someone who was meant to survive? You mean my sister? You do, don't you? You're saying that lightning shouldn't have disappeared that day. It was because the future was changed. So if we keep traveling through the gates and resolve all the paradoxes that oh. are happening... Yeah. If you change the future again, the true past will be restored. The past that you still remember, Sarah. Together, the two of you can correct the timeline. Did you hear that, Noel? We've been doing the right thing all along. Yes. <laughs> Can you tell us something else? Someone has been laying traps for us inside this tower. Do you know who's behind it? Your enemy. It is here inside the tower. It has generated the contradictions that threaten you. The machine is sentient. Machine? So the Caius who we met earlier in Academia, he was... An imitation created by the machine. And what about the other Caius? The one we saw in the oh, tower? Oh. He is real. He brought me here. And when we are finished, he will take me away. Hmm. Let's go. Yes, go. And please... Let me see a new future. 
will do it. I'm worried about Yule. Kupu. Yeah, but if we're going to fight, we can't afford to have doubts. She's hoping for a better future and believes we can make it. Hmm. <gasps> Look, the fake Caius was sent out from this place. But where's the enemy that Yule warned us about? See, so this is what Yule meant by sentient machine. This thing has been behind everything. It's the one who turned the people into sea, and it's the one who's been trying to kill us in the tower. This is kind of like the anima fight in the third game, I think. We, we kill the manipulators first. Must be like the void beyond, a crossroads where the future and past intersect. And that would enable time travel. You know, do you realize what this means? The proto Falci could have used this place to travel through time and infiltrate the artificial intelligence. Then it could have manipulated the AI to kill all the humans in the tower and build the Falci of Academia's future. You're saying the proto Falci took control of the AI and ordered it to build the proto Falci. It's a closed loop, a chicken and egg paradox. Right. A paradox is exactly what it is. The proto falci was trying to protect the distortion that gave birth to it. You knew all along that it was part of the paradox. Just a sec. If the proto falci can manipulate the past, that means... It could travel back in time and rebuild itself. As long as the crossroads exist, you cannot defeat the proto falci, Kupo. <laughs> Damn, we have to fight again. We have to fight forever. We trap. It will just keep healing itself for eternity. Oh. 
change party leader. We can use the javelin. to Mog, huh? <laughs> you guys oh. play rough, <laughs> You saved yes, the day. Thank you. You did great. Crystal apple. Gold nugget. Hope's fault. Huh? He was the one who started building these things. Proto Falci and AI both. Ah, uh, will you listen to me? Looking around for scapegoats. These fights are really starting to wear me down. I don't blame you. It's not going to do us any good whining about the mistakes of the past. If we don't stop this thing from regenerating, we're never going to get out of here. Scream at hope. The machine is manipulating the past. But then, there's no reason we can't either. Please, I hope you're watching this. Hope! Can you hear me? I've got a bone to pick with you. These machines you built... Sarah! ...are driving me nuts! Did it, Sarah? But I didn't do anything. At least I don't think I did. <sighs> Sarah, are you all right? Can you hear me? these days I wonder if it's because he can't remember the future it's understandable no one wants to think they'll forget something that's important to them fragment discovered Frotto Falsi all right
You know something? When you get mad, you sure do remind me of your sister. Be <laughs> careful. She might be watching, you know. I'm sure of it. Let's see what we fixed. Alternative 400 AF Academia that we fixed. It's gonna be different than when we first went there. Sarah and Noah have changed the future. The proto Falci that threatened Academia is no more, and in the sky floats the 13th Ark. The people have built a society with their own hands, using technology of their own devising. However, the day when Cocoon is prophesied to fall is drawing closer. The Academy has put into motion an ambitious project to avert the catastrophe. Really, really amazing. Well done with the time travel stuff in this game. I love it. you say are they real <laughs> now is that a polite way to greet old friends i mean we haven't seen each other in what how many years it's been all of 390 years i guess you guys have been busy huh <laughs> please come by my headquarters when you get a chance your guests are the academy Later. <laughs> How did they get here? I will find out. I mean, if Hope built the AI Academy head office, it's probably the most impressive looking building. What about that one? I mean, if he built the AI, he can build time travel machine as well. So I guess After that's all, the Sam most plausible explanation. What did you do with anyway? I sort of have an idea of what happened, but I can't really explain it. It was more of a hunch, really. A hunch. Well, we won, and that's what matters, I guess. to be if you love big cities you can do everything through a touchscreen panel it's almost like magic isn't it i'm magical too i can open shop anywhere i can even prove it see no new weapons okay thank you and thank you The 
readings are normal. What's that? Hmm, that's a teleporter. Let's explore later. For now, let's go. Where are we supposed to go? I do want to talk to this that? NPC though. Remnants of a spatial distortion have been discovered at the gate. That points to some sort of paradox having taken place here. have a lot of questions. Feel free to ask me anything. Is that what you wore 400 years ago? Your clothes are different than the pictures in my textbook. What's wrong? I bet you're used to seeing people with swords and bows. Guns were pretty rare in your day, weren't they? <laughs> Is that white round animal you have with you real? That's rare. You'll see a lot of animals here. They're all virtual. Is that what you wore 400 years? Okay, that, 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 at that point it just repeats. I hear you can win prizes and such. Gold casino tickets? That guy keeps looking over here. He hasn't done anything yet, but it's creepy nonetheless. Anyone can visit the academy. If he's so curious, he should just come in like everyone else. A girl named Alyssa? She works at the Academy. I wish I could summon up the courage to talk to her. Apparently, Alyssa was sleeping in a time capsule for a few hundred years. She just woke up recently. Kind of like Sleeping Beauty. I want to go inside and get to know her, but I just keep chickening out. If I do get a chance to talk to her, what should I say? She's from a different time. I don't want to scare her off. Apparently, Alyssa was sleeping. All right, so that's how they came here. That's how they time traveled, sleeping in a capsule, kind of like hibernation. Does that door really have live puppies? All right then. Welcome to the Academy head office. I get it. Hi there. I am a researcher of monsters. My database contains profiles of every creature in existence, from Cocoon to the farthest reaches of Grand Pulse. Yes, I have them all. Ah, it's been quite the trial. I scoured the records, you see, compiling data from the most obscure Academy files. My work is a thing of beauty. If anyone has research that rivals my perfect database, I would certainly like to see it. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is the quest to complete the best yet. You believe there are monstrosities even my research has overlooked? Very well. Let us see the proof of your words. Return to me when you think your data log has captured details on every monster. Do you understand? I do mean every single monster. Basically answer questions and you have to get every of them correct. There are few machines like it in the city. 
We have to do all of these later. But I can try this one for now. Your entry has been accepted. Answer all questions correctly and receive a fabulous prize. Bend your mind to the task and aim for a perfect score. Here is your first question. Okay, so I'm gonna link, uh, if you wanna cheat, I'm gonna link, uh, I'm gonna post a link in the video description with all of the answers. Red. Correct. Question two. People are not found in Yorba. Congratulations! Question 3. Gold ore. Like some of also them are question four. easy to answer, but some of them are ridiculous. <laughs> uh, Lissy Extermination Mountain. That one Correct. was hard. Question five. Pick a hand. Like th this is stupid. The questions don't make any sense sometimes, but there is only one correct answer, so... Don't feel bad about cheating with these, because at this point these are trial and error. Oh, so apparently there is not a correct answer, it's RNG. But the answer says left when vertical, right when horizontal. So right now is horizontal, so right? Okay, okay, so I see. Keep it up. Question six. Former occupation. I think he was a train conductor, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I knew that. This one I have no Correct. Question eight. Northern Lights. You are intelligent. Question nine. Becoming a thief by will. Now for the final question. Ding dong ditch. So you get a fragment. Did you uh, know that this other one is stoic version. Are accepting entries for unique brain blast challenges? If you think you have what it takes, try mastering all the quizzes on offer. All right, so there are multiple machines. At least we're done with this one for now. And the questions are random. They're not always the same. But I will link you that page where you get all the answers. So. You should have no problems. Who 
told us that he invented a machine called a time capsule. That's how they got here. Back in 13 AF, Hope devised a plan to build an artificial Falci. It was called the proto Falci project. He wanted to use the new technology to re-levitate Cocoon. But then one day, Hope saw a certain prophecy in the Oracle Drive. So I activated the Oracle Drive and watched the prophecy. I saw you fighting the proto Falci, and I saw you screaming out at me. Your machines are driving me nuts! Well, I was getting pretty ticked off by that point. <laughs> well, exactly. So we were forced to reevaluate the project, and eventually abandon it. Okay, you saw Sarah getting mad at you, so you canceled your project, and then poof, the proto Falci disappeared. Is that about right? We didn't destroy it so much as it never existed in the first place. We were following the wrong path to the future. If the proto Falci had managed to get control of Cocoon, it would have made itself the second Eden, and we'd be back where we began. Yeah. It would have been just like how it was on the old Cocoon. We realized we couldn't let that happen. We had to levitate Cocoon using only human technology. Right. Not to mention that if you had kept with the original plan, your machines would have killed you. Really. Then we owe you our lives. Thank you. Buddy, you lose your temper and the whole future changes. <laughs> Damn, okay. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> Alyssa and I decided to come to the future to observe the 13th arc, the structure that appears in the sky of this time period. That thing that's floating above us now? Yes. In the end, we abandoned the idea of restoring the old cocoon. Instead, we plan to build an entirely new shell. Of course, there's still the problem of how to keep such a creation airborne. Whole new cocoon. That's an ambitious plan. Sure is. And that's why you're here to find out what keeps the Ark afloat. Exactly. When we learned of the Ark's appearance through the Oracle Drive, we had to come and see it for ourselves. There it is. Come on. Fly. <laughs> there are so many important things I need to talk to you two about. So many, in fact, I'm not really sure where to start. How did you get here anyway? This time capsule of yours, it doesn't work like a gate, does it? In simple terms, we just put ourselves to sleep for about 400 years. The device cannot actually travel through time, so there's no going back to the past. That must have been a tough call. It was a choice to wake up to a strange world centuries in the future. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have second thoughts. What about your family? You'll never see them again. That was no longer an issue for me. My father had already passed away by then. I had no one to leave behind. Wow, okay. There's no way I can repay you for changing the future for us. But I want to talk about the other options too, man! Traveling to this time period was no easy time. Oh man! So you have to do different playthroughs too. You don't have to do different playthroughs, actually. Later, you will be able to... Uh, rewind the events of the... Time period. So we can come back and ask him about the other stuff. You were the that's only people later. that know who we were in the past. <laughs> so I bet you're.
you're dying to know how he came to the future, huh? Kinda. You've heard about the time capsule we used? It's a device that slows down time only for its occupants. The effect is caused by the creation of a powerful gravitational field and, well, essentially we just slept as the outside world flashed forward into the future. This capsule of yours can't take you back, can it? Unfortunately not. And considering it broke down after a single use, I doubt it'll prove to be a popular method of time travel. You risked your own life for the sake of Cocoon. Oh, the director was there with me. Hey, Sarah. After coming to the future myself, I, I think I understand how you must feel. The Academy has welcomed us with open arms, and we can research as we always have, but... Sometimes I get these terrible anxiety attacks. Alyssa... Please, Sarah, you have to let me apologize for the way I treated you in the past. Maybe you can't forgive me for that. I hope as fellow time travelers, we can face the future on friendly terms. They're behind on their deliveries, huh? The Academy has made progress on its investigation into the 13th Ark. At this stage, there is good news and there is bad news. Let's hear the good news first. We've discovered that the Ark's reactor is powered by an ore cluster, known as the Graviton Core. By collecting these, there's a possibility that the new cocoon will be up in the sky in no time. That is good news. Yeah, okay. So now you gotta hit us with the bad news. Each ore cluster provides only a certain amount of power. The 13th Ark, for example, requires a single Graviton core. We're going to need multiple cores that we can't seem to find. Need a hand with the search? If there's one thing we're good at, it's looking for weird objects. We could use the help. With you two on the case, we'll have those cores in no time. I'll put together some data on Graviton cores. Check in with the Academy front desk. Graviton cores, okay. Did I tell you? The director is inventing a new device. The Academy has been making progress on the development of a paradox weapon. A very powerful weapon that feeds on time-distorting energies. Using a paradox against itself, huh? Exactly. There's a possibility we may come up against the man who appears in the Oracle Drive recordings. The war has already begun, and we're fighting to protect the future itself. A battle to the end against Caius. But, Director, didn't you say you were missing a certain material? A Chaos Crystal. It's a solidified chunk of Paradox energy, but according to the data, it doesn't exist in this time period. Well, hey, you've still got us. And we've got the Historia Crux. I knew I could count on you. Once you've found the crystal, I can build you a prototype. Where did your travels take you? We ended up at a casino called Serendipity. Have you heard of it, Hope? Hmm. There's an ancient legend that mentions a palace by that name. The story itself is incomplete, and nobody knows how it's supposed to end. So it's a paradise that was never finished, huh? Right. But we won't be letting our story end halfway through. We're counting on you to find those Graviton cores. You can view the relevant data at the Academy front desk. All right, all right. Hmm. Anything else we can get from here?
Take us to places we can't go. There's an awful lot we can learn from the old cocoon. Even when the Falci were no more, the people were still left with something. They were left with the ability to think for themselves and the technology to make those thoughts reality. I get it. We need to factor in any unscheduled use of the land. Looking good. It's easy to float a chair. exploring a bit here before we go to the front desk in the next video all right I don't think there's anything I'm missing I see before mr. S time entered the time capsule he put a lot of different plans in motion he was able to get the new cocoon project off the ground. Ah, okay. I was wondering, like, if he slept in slept in the capsule, how did the project continue? So basically, he did the mapping of the project and everything before he left in the capsule, and that's what the NPC is explaining. Okay, good. Now that answers my question. Technology to raise the new cocoon into the sky is already there. As soon as we have all the graviton cores, we'll have the power source we need. Alright, but that's gonna wait until next part. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>